alert, alert. Residential air conditioning costs are going up in 2025. That's in three months. Stay tuned, we'll tell you what you can do to save yourself a lot of money. Hey there, I thought this was an important message and it's something that I just learned and didn't realize that it was going on, but we just put new air conditioning units here in our small commercial business. And I learned that in 2020, the Congress passed this AIM Act, the American Innovation and Manufacturing Act. Yeah, I never heard of it, but it's significant. Here's what it does. It requires new refrigerant in residential and light commercial AC units starting January 1st, 2025. And so what does that mean? Well, now manufacturers that sell units or start producing units after January 1st can only produce units, new units with this new refrigerant. And so that means we're going to have a redesign and revamp of the equipment to work with these new refrigerants. There's going to be new equipment to work on the new units. And all those things are increasing costs for the manufacturers and, and distributors or installers. And so what does that mean? higher cost for consumers. And so it's estimated that costs for these new units are gonna go up by 20 to 30%. And so there's some important things to think about. The first thing is, if you've been thinking about getting new AC units and you wanna still use the ones with the old Freon refrigerant, you better buy those before they're sold out because once they're gone, they're gone. And so then you're going to be stuck buying the new, more expensive units. And at 20 to 30% more expensive on a, let's say, seven to $10,000 unit, we're talking about two to three plus thousand dollars per unit increased cost. That's nothing to just kind of laugh at. The other thing is, hey, if you've been needing or on the brink of needing a new compressor or other parts for your existing unit, I might go ahead and get those now too. Because again, once the parts are gone, they're gone. And then no replacement parts, you're going to be paying to buy a new unit because you can't get the parts to service your old unit because once they're gone, we're done. And so, hey, our office just went through this and we opted to go with the new refrigerant units right now to get ready so that in the future, if we needed parts and these units were around in four or five or 10 years from now, that we wouldn't have to worry about trying to find parts for the old units that are no longer being made. Hey, big issue. Hope this has been helpful. I mean, hey, what, whether you're thinking of selling or buying or anything else, this is information that you need just to live if you've got a house that you, that you own. Hope it's been helpful. Have a great day.